What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Gento Nakatani versus Francisco Rodriguez. Let's get into it. Let's talk about Nakatani. Nakatani's coming into this one with a perfect record 23 wins zero losses 18 wins by way of knockout he had a big win in his last fight over ryoto yamuchi to keep his wbo featherweight title a couple of videos ago i did a quick list of a few fighters to watch out for in the new year and nakatani was on my list if you haven't seen him fight before you'll be able to catch it november 1st this guy throws with bad intentions all right he's a mid-distance fighter and what I mean by that is it's a nice even ground mix between someone who likes to fight on the inside and someone who likes to fight on the outside. It's that middle gap and that middle distance in between. You've got to be careful with him. I think you have to pick your way of attack when you are facing Gento Nakatani. You either got to say, I'm going to try to outbox this guy, or I'm going to try to rough him up and fight inside the pocket. But if you stay in the middle where he can reach you, it is not going to be good and work in your favor. Because he's long, he's explosive, and when he goes to the attack, it's tough to stop. He's a southpaw, so he uses that flick out with the right hand and comes straight down the middle. And he disguises his attacks very well in different ways in different formats. He can hit you from all ranges and all angles very quickly. You also got to watch out for the uppercut as well too. Offensively, there's not a shot that he can't do. He's extremely skilled, very accurate, and aims to punish his opponents. He's very calculated with his attack and he's dangerous against anyone in this division. Maybe in the division above. So I'm looking forward to see what he does in this one. Let's talk about his opponent, Francisco Rodriguez Jr. coming into this one with a very respectable record. 35 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw, 25 wins by way of knockout. He's only been stopped one time. And that one time that he got stopped came across the great Roman Gonzalez, otherwise known as Chocolate Tito, kind of early in his career. But he's faced someone with offensive fire similar to a Junto Nakatani, even though they're both different fighters. I would like to think of Rodriguez Jr. as a tactical pressure fighter. He's going to come forward, but he's going to take off some of that steam right? He'll put that arm out where he can see how you're going to respond before he sees what type of pressure and power that he has to put into a shot, right? This is a guy whose upper torso is always moving, always rocking to the side, always going to see how you're going to react, right? Trying to see what you're going to do so he can do what he needs to do in order to respond to what you're going to do, right? Rocks his shoulders as well, almost to kind of lull you to make you think that, wait, he's not quick enough. And then boom, he lunges in and that hand finds you. He does his best work when he is coming forward and getting within range where he can land a shot. His hand speed is a lot quicker than I think people think. He gets busy, right? The more comfortable that he gets. Going back to his recent fight against Ioka or Loka, I think it was, right? I thought he won that fight even though he lost on paper. I thought in that fight he was the busier fighter, landed the cleaner shots, controlled the pace of the fight a little bit more. But what I really like was how he disguised some of his attacks. And I think he's going to need to do that same thing against Nakatani. And if he can disguise his attack, right, and get gentle Nakatani to get uncomfortable he'll be able to land some clean shots against him. He will be able to have some success against him. But if you let Nakatani come in and just get comfortable right away and find his group, it's going to be a long night for Rodriguez, right? But Rodriguez is a good fighter. He's not going to go out easy at all. So who wins? I'm taking Junto Nakatani by knockout. Junto to me is quicker. He's much sharper. He's more accurate, the bigger puncher. And he'll just come in and let his hands go, right? It's very calculated, but he's not afraid to take those risks if need be, especially if he sees his opponents hurt or he's damaged him a little bit. So I think he is going to use his explosiveness. He's going to use that reach, that mid distance area is going to be that sweet spot for him. And I think it's only a matter of time before those shots continue to 
add up and he takes him out. So I have Jinto Nakatani winning by knockout. What are your thoughts of this fight? Who do you have winning and how? Let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below also. My Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel and will be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find my social media handles on screen as well. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this time, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.